What's up guys, Tim Little, Matt Allen. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today's video, buyer's guide, what, number four or five? $500 combos, rod and reel combos that fit in that $500 price point. Let's go. If you guys are just coming in, we have already done buyer's guides $100 combos, $200, $300, $400. Now we're at $500 combos. After this, tomorrow, we're doing these videos every single day. So tomorrow, high-end combos. And then after that, we start switching over into baits and gear. Today, $500 combos. And for us, this is, you're in the thick of it now. This is the world that we love to play in. This is phenomenal equipment for the price uh, like every video down in the video description we'll link all this gear the purpose of these buyers guides is to help you find the right combos as well as to let your loved ones before the holidays find the right combos for you so you can give them these videos in that description every combo will be laid out favorite models at every at every model all dialed in for every model for model is that what yeah. i is that what i went with we're going with it <laughs> All right, you want to kick us off? Sure. Like Matt said, this is where we spend the most of our fishing time. This is the mm -hmm. stuff that we get to tinker with, play around with, enjoy making these, you know, mix and matching these combos. Uh, and this is the stuff that 95% of the time we're grabbing when we go fishing ourselves. So right. uh, I'm going to start it off uh, with, I got to love the chainsaw. Got every video, <laughs> man, there's got to be a chainsaw. Uh, I'm going to start it off with the uh, Daiwa, the Tatula Elite car, uh rod paired up with a Daiwa Tatula LT spinning reel. Now, this rod specifically, this is the fighter. This is the 7.6 uh, hair jig and Nico rig rod. I don't necessarily use it for Nico rig. I really, really like it for a hair jig. It's got, it's a seven foot six, so it's a longer rod. It makes it really easy to cast those really light hair jigs. Uh, it's got the AGS guides on there and then paired up with that, uh, that Tatula LT again, Daiwa still has that back reel feature. So when you are fishing those really, really light finesse techniques, having that added bonus of being able to, uh, you know, back reel when that fish makes a, makes a run close to the boat is really, really cool. But again, that is an awesome, awesome combo for that price point. And if you are a, a brand specific and you like that Daiwa stuff, this is a good one to go with. Now we, like we said in the last video on the $400 combos, We've entered the realm of what we fish with on the daily basis. We use all this gear from $100 combos up. We spend a lot of time looking for those sweet models in the thick of it, trying to find the gems. But $400, $500 and high end, that's when we go out fishing, that's typically what we've got laid out on the deck of the boat. I'm watching Tim read the model on that Daiwa like he doesn't know. I don't know how many dozens of fish I've watched you literally hair jig with that rod just big fish when we go north it's just so you don't misspeak and you right. want to make sure right. you get the exact model number because we know that it's your hard-earned money and i don't want to say something that is you know what i mean like i I, right. I want it to be correct so just double check in before i say it see i'll go rambling but, but when yeah. you go in the video description it will be exact if i make a mistake it'll be corrected there <laughs> uh so for me number one same thing I said in the last video. In the last video, we moved up in price and we hit where Mega Bass came in. Right. Now we've moved up in price and we've hit where G Loomis comes in. So this is new this year. G Loomis brought out the GCX line of rods. So E6X went away, GCX came back uh, or came in. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal rods for the price. Now I paired this one up in order to stay in the price point. It's paired up to a Vanford, a reel that we've talked about a lot. Crazy smooth, phenomenal drag, extremely lightweight, uh, and just a fantastic combo for the price. One thing I love about Loomis is that models go through their entire line. So you can see us fishing with an NRX Plus, want that model, you can buy it in a GLX, an IMX Pro, or a GCX. You can move up and down those lines according to price point. Yeah, another key thing with those guys, those guys, Loomis and this lineup, actually all their lineups, they've started going back, putting all the labels on there, the, the technique specific stuff. Yes. So they come out, they've come out with some very key specific uh, rod blanks 
and uh, they put the little little picture on there for you. So when you're in the tackle shop and you're checking trying out, to you're figure like, out what, what would for? I use this for? Oh, there's a picture of a Ned rig. So it's, right. it makes it really easy. Um, like Matt said, uh, bumping up into the uh, higher price point. Now we're talking about some of the higher end mega bass stuff. Now you guys, you JDM guys, that Jap Japanese domestic market, you know what mega bass means to that market. Um, they are up there, right? So the the mega bass Orochi line. Now we love this line. It's mm -hmm. been a struggle the last year, two years and a half, to even get them because they're so sought after and there's there's limited quantities. But with that said, the uh, the entire Orochi line is phenomenal. But the Extreme mm -hmm. Mission Type F, uh, the Braylon. I mean, there, there's some really there's key ones. And like Matt said, down below we'll we'll link them. But uh, paired that up with that Corrado 150 MG MGL, um, it's just a... That's a mean combo. It's an awesome combo. Again, this is... Get, you get excited to grab this up and go fishing. You're like, what can I catch on this combo? You know, it's just now that we're in that zone, you start thinking like, you know, well, can I do this? Can I do that? Can I pair this up? But uh, that combo right there is a do-everything combo, and you guys will not be disappointed with that higher-end Mega Bass stuff. When I feel like... Now I'm I'm here in the video with you, but I feel like when these videos start, you know, hundred dollar combos, we're very matter of fact. Like this is an amazing rod for this job. We we put in the time. Work. We found the it's, ones right. that that are primo for what you're doing. When we get to here, we just start geeking out on tackle. Yeah. Right. That's it's just fun. the way it is. Yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm doing GCX again, but casting. Okay, I've switched. Ooh. You all right? Yeah. Switched over to casting now. Luckily, we are in the sales at this point. So a lot of this stuff is on sale. Mega Bass does not go on sale. I believe everything else does. Even uh, though now, they can't advertise Even it. though they don't say that they do. They're, they're not allowed to, to advertise that. But if you actually complete a sale, make the purchase, look at your finished receipt, they are on sale. Just FYI. Been this way for years. So with that in mind, I was able to do a GCX paired up to a Corrado DC. Just a phenomenal all-around combo. Now, again, GCX, you have those models that carry down between the different lines. Specifically for me, you're talking the MBRs. I love the MBR model. Not that I don't love some of the JWRs as well, but I just geek out on those MBRs. They're just amazing rods where you can take one rod and do all these different things with it depending on how hard you pull on that rod uh, and you can get those in the gcx drastically less expensive than you would in glx or nrx plus or any of those higher end models but just great great rods in great models for the price next rod up next combo up for me is going to be well let's talk about the rod first that's the imx pro so that is the step up in rod from, from GCX. the gcx again technique specific this rod specifically is, is their little 802 topwater rod twr it's a little popper that's rod. that little rod you're always little fishing. rod i'm always fishing yep. uh caught so many fish on uh little little poppers uh pop maxes a little Waffle Poppers 90s. This is the rod I was fishing down in Miami and uh, just Ooh, all, all over. I remember that. Yeah, I'll, I won't forget that one either. Uh, but uh, really, really love this rod. Now, on this rod, I paired that up with the Daiwa Tatula Elite. Now, great reels. The issue that I have with, because we get these questions asked a lot. Yep. Well, you know, what, what about the, the higher end Daiwa stuff? The T-Wing system. Matt and I are braid to leader. You can see I have braid to mono leader here. This is actually 15 pound mono. The issue for us with the T-Wing system is our connection knots get hung up in it. So if you are a straight fluoro guy or a straight braid guy, this reel is phenomenal. If you are a braid to leader guy, you gotta be very careful that you're not reeling your leader into that T-Wing system. Tie short. You gotta tie them short. Yeah. So if that's not an issue for you, these are great reels. I, I love this reel. And I can launch the little guys, the little poppers, the little 90s a long way. Just got to be careful with that T-Wing system. But that's an awesome, awesome combo. And then, obviously, the, the IMX Pro stuff, we've said it a ton of times. Yeah. Technique specific. Just, I mean, all the way from their cranking rods to their swim bait rods. We love the entire line. So, I'm, you keep saying technique specific. I'm going to build off of that. In this price point, 
in the buyer's guide last year, we did it very differently. But in the video description, we did something that we're going to do again this year. What we're going to do, in addition to these exact combos, below that with whatever room is left, because we are limited on how much we're allowed to type down there, with whatever room is left, we know that this is the price point that people save and save and save and save to right. buy a rod in. We know that. So we're going to list techniques like chatterbait, deep cranking, speed cranking, throwing a jig, throwing this type of jig, that type of jig. We'll list a whole row of techniques and give you our exact, we won't give you rod and reel, we'll give you rod, our exact rod for every one of those techniques so that during the sale or after, if you see this later, so whatever, uh, you know exactly what models in this price range we would choose for those techniques because I think that will help people because this is a leap of faith for a lot of people, right? You right. save up to buy one of these and we recognize that. So we'll try to help you there as much as we can. My next one up, this is Savage Gear. Uh, we talked about Savage Gear in the $200 combos. And we're going to talk about them again here. This is the Black Ops. I talked about these a little bit last year and fished with them a lot the last two years. These Black Ops rods are way nice. Surprisingly uh, nice. Like, shockingly yeah. nice. Yeah, and, and, and Savage Gear, don't get mad. But Savage, in the, in the past, it's kind of been a brand that we weren't too familiar with. In the last few years, we've used it and we're like, wow, this is really nice. Really nice. <laughs> Surprise. Yes, it has come a long, right. long ways. So I would put Black Ops, uh, price-wise, it's right there with, say, X-Pride and these others, and sensitivity, it is too. It is, it is one of the absolute top lines of rods at its price. Uh, they're just phenomenal, and they've got a bunch of really good models. I've been very, very impressed with these rods. Uh, I paired this one up with the Cronarch 150. Uh, this is just... A workhorse reel to me. So the way I think of Cronarch, everybody sort of has this different way that they think through their own gear, right? Cronarchs to me are another workhorse. And what I mean by that is like, um, it's a power reel. It's a reel that I can go out and I can throw an A-rig on it if I need to. I can throw a jig on it. I can throw a Texas rig on it, but it's more refined. So the other rod I say, or the other reel I say that about is Corrado. Corrado is a workhorse. The Cronarch is like the refined Corrado. So it's a workhorse, but I can turn around and finesse on it. I could throw a finesse jig on there. It's just one step up from Corrado. I really like those reels. Uh, there was a time when I made a switch to all Cronarch over Corrado, uh, but then Corrados have been getting so good that they've been coming back into the mix. But just an amazing combo if you want to try a different brand something you probably haven't tried and you want a really really nice rod take a look at that black ops i'm so glad he said that because i completely disagree <laughs> uh, <laughs> no but uh you know this is the price point where we get to geek out about that stuff but the Cronarch, in my mind mm -hmm. that is my straight floor carbon lighter finesse reel <laughs> That Corrado, the 150 or the K, that is the workhorse. That's my braid deleter. That is my bread and butter on that stuff. Mm -hmm. The Cronarch has amazing castability. And so for mm -hmm. me, I'll either do little blade baits on it or I'll do my finesse stuff with it. So it's, it just shows you. That's why we give you so many different combos because not everybody's the same. Right. And not everybody's thought process is the same. But either way, great reel. I would also say that that speaks to the abilities of that reel. And yep. right? if we see it that differently, mm -hmm. it can do a lot of things. It's not often that you admit that I'm always right. <laughs> uh, all right. Last combo for me. I think you got one more. I do. Don't worry about okay. it. Uh, X-Pride. You know, I, I can't say enough good things about I can't say enough good things about all these. But X-Pride, the last few years, it's, that, it, it's been that standout line. That line that feels like it should be in a higher price point. Feels like it plays with those big boys. And... Anywhere from the 610 medium all the way up to the 711 flip and stick. I mean, those two models, the 73 extra heavy, you know, mm -hmm. 76 heavy. I, I can go, medium heavy. I can go on and on and on. Heavy. That is this all day. The entire line is awesome. Yeah. Uh, and I love NRX Plus. I love NRX. I love IMX Pro. I mean, I love a lot of things. But day in and day out. Bang for the buck. Bang for the buck. I don't think there is. 
me personally, I don't think there's a uh, a line that that through the whole thing compares to the X Pride lineup. It's just it's one of those lineups that's it's top to bottom, it's solid, and it is really fun to fish, and they have great great uh, models, and it's in that lower price point than those higher rods that you think it compares to. Right. Uh, hopefully that made sense. Now, last thing, that Corrado 70 MGL reel. Another reel, another thing I can't say enough good things about. I actually went and ordered four more because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't need a 200 size reel for everything, right? There's specific right. things we need it for. That 70 fits really, really nice in the palm. You can flip with it, pitch with it. You can frog with it. You can throw light topwaters. You can finesse fish with it. You can sit, that MGL spool allows you to outcast those other spools. It just, it just does. It just does. And that entire MGL lineup, you guys have heard us talk about it in other videos. Mm -hmm. uh, the reel is just that much better than the, the basic version of that reel, right? Yep. So that 70, a little bit smaller profile, fits really nicely in the hand. Uh, you know, smaller kids, women, that sort of stuff. It, you guys were you. Yeah, or, or I got big hands, but yeah, it's it's just I really really like this reel. So if you're looking for a little smaller profile reel and but don't want to give up uh, castability, that thing is sweet. So I'm ending on X Pride as well. Uh, X Pride just the best way I know to describe it is it plays several hundred dollars over where it's actually priced. So if you take this rod in the high twos and stack it against rods around the industry in the, in the fours, right. that's where it it's belongs. Right I have no idea why it's been priced like this. Uh, they're unbelievable for the price. We spend a lot of time looking for bang for the buck. We love high-end gear. We fish high-end gear, but when we've got super high-end gear laid out on the deck, there are always X-Prides in that mix. Mixed in, right. They're high-end rods, uh, but you don't pay a high-end price for them. Now, that said, We've been talking about this sale. That is why we stacked these videos when we did. So that when you got this information, if you wanted to take advantage of the information during a sale, you can. That is the best time to get this, this advice, this help. So with that in mind, you can reach farther than normal right now because they're on sale. Right. So we're able to stay in the $500 price point with gear that is not $500 combo. So, with that in mind, you want to talk about breaking into an ultra high-end combo without, yeah, I snuck a spinning rod in at the end. Cheating. Again. But you're pulling it off in the price point. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to argue this one for once. You put a sustain not... on that? <laughs> X-Pride Sustain. Phenomenal. I mean, crazy good. Truly a high-end combo. Yes. A straight-up high-end combo without a straight-up high-end price. If you have been wanting to see why people spend more money, why people do that, why they reach out, X-Prides are crazy, crazy light. They're crazy sensitive. The Sustain is an incredibly smooth, super high-end feeling reel. And you can pair those up during the sale and make the cut. If you see this later, this is not a $500 combo. <laughs> right. But it is an amazing combo. Can I say something about the sustain? Whatever you'd like. I'm going to be completely honest. I didn't like the old sustain. It's a great reel. It was just heavy. Right? Mm -hmm. You could you could tell that it was a workhorse, maybe for saltwater fish, bigger fish, striper, if you're bait fishing. Um, the new sustain, completely different feel. It feels like the Accents. Mm -hmm. It completely different feel, very smooth, light, uh, blown away by the new sustain. So just want to throw that in. I, I always went that CI4 Plus, now the Vanford, mm -hmm. instead of that sustain, just because of the weight and the way it felt, um, that thing is, is sweet. So to talk about it being high end, and I won't go too long because I know we've been going long on this one, but I'll tell you something about sustain from my personal experience. Tim and I like different feeling spinning reels a lot of the time. But speaking specifically to the drag that was in the old Sustain, these are high-end reels. Right. So I spent years, Tim knows this, chasing a two-pound line class world record. I won't go into the details, but you can take line class two-pound, wrap it around your fingers, spread them, and it breaks. 
and I used a sustain for that mission. For the drag. For the drag. Uh, trying to catch giant fish on this hair two pound line because the drag is that good. I mean, you're truly talking super high end equipment that is half the price of a lot of super high end equipment. Right. right. Yeah. It, I mean, it's, it's, we like different things, right? And that, and not to say bad things about the old sustain, for me personally, it's a great reel, but for mm -hmm. me personally, I was looking for something different, a little smoother yep. feel, the lighter feel. Uh, anyways, that thing is sweet. And I think we both can we say, both agree. we really, really like it. Guys, I think we'll end it there. We could geek out all day. Again, we'll link every single one of these videos, or videos, every single one of these combos in the video description. And then with whatever space we have left, we'll list favorite rods for as many techniques. techniques as we can to help you guys out. If you have questions about the sale, we know it's confusing because some brands are advertised as on sale, some are not, but are still on sale. Some are listed as excluded, but they are They're aren't. still totally The in only the sale. one that is that we know of is Mega, Mega Bass. Bass. Right. So we'll help you with that. If you have questions in the comments, you can ask. We'll do everything we can to help you there. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this was some information you needed. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We will see you tomorrow. High end. For high end combos. We'll see you then. See you guys.